with Crazy Downs, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Down. I'm IT Explosive One, and we are starting the timer. Ding. Two minutes or less. So, TNT, yeah. I saw this story, and I thought this was actually very cool. Um, there was a, back in the day, there was a uh, Christian the Fourth of Denmark. Of but I've seen this as, once I've read the comments through on Sorry? Reddit and stuff, it was a... Uh, Basically, what would happen is there was a channel that the ships had to pass through. Oh, okay. And they had to, um, when they went through, they had to pay tax on their cargo. Oh. <clears throat> and it was a self-reporting system. So when you went to the dock or went to the gate or whatever the hell, I don't, I don't, you basically said, we have X amount of dollars worth of cargo and you paid your tax based on that. And the way they got around it was. Lying. Well, right. <laughs> but they, they had to declare what kind of cargo it was and how much the value was. The caveat to that was the king at any point could buy your cargo for the price you said it cost. Oh. So if you had, I mean, this is going to be facetious because money's, but say you, you say, I have $10,000 worth of flour on my ship, but you really had a million dollars worth of flour. The king could go, all right, here's $10,000. Drop it off at the dock. And every you have to unload your entire uh, ship for them. So it was a way to keep you honest because if you undervalued it and they decided to buy it, you would lose a shitload of yeah, money. So, like, so you couldn't go drastically under what you thought. But you could probably still finesse the system. Right, exactly. Bit. But you never know because if you have if you have corn or you have something, the king could be like, Yeah, our village is low on that, we're buying it all. And then, you know, great, you sold all your cargo. But if you're a liar, you might lose a couple of that. Right, exactly. And then I saw thou. something else, like in the comments, people were talking about. Um, it says, I heard years ago about an amateur racing circuit in fin Finland based on the same principle. You, it, to be in the playing field, the cars that were being raced could not be worth more than $2,000, excluding safety equipment. So okay. you could have ex you could spend as much as you want on safety. Okay. And it said, the rules of the committee, there was no rules checking any car. But any driver could purchase any other person's car for $2,000. Uh. So if – and it says uh, – they said uh, – and further in the comments, it said that is true. And there's been two cases where that's happened because people lied. Uh. And so but like it's like, yeah, they're like, yeah, fine. Race your car. Do whatever you want. Anyone can buy your car for $2,000. So you put $10,000 worth of stuff in it. $200,000. No, $2,000. Two thousand yeah, dollars. Your car could not be worth more than two thousand dollars, other than safety equipment. Huh. And then, and then, yeah, and then, so it's a, so it's a fair race for everyone. Okay. You know, whatever okay. you can fit in two K, you're good. Okay. Yeah. So if you soup your car up illegally and people think you're cheating, oh, yeah. they just they just buy your car. I'm buying your car. And then, and, and then, two K ain't much, man. right? That's exactly. Nothing. And they said, and that's why they said they skimped on. They said you couldn't, you know, the safety equipment. So like, yeah, you. They're not going to say you're doing this race, but you can only have two thousand dollars, including your safety. I kind, I kind of f with this. It's a way to keep people honest, with right. you know, without like necessarily having to police it. Right. It takes a lot of overhead off the committee to do anything. It takes yeah. all of that off. You know, and yeah, do people lie? Yes. yes. Do people get away with it? Yes. yes. But that's going to happen even if they're policing it. Right. Exactly. Right. Pe people, so. people lie on their taxes all the time. And you get you can get audited by the government. If yeah, if the if you could if you could file your taxes and say whatever the hell you wanted, but the government at any time could say, Oh, you have a million dollars in assets, here's a million dollars. We're taking everything you own. Oh. N people would people people would Dude, be I honestly overrun. think that's what they should do. Because if, if you lie about mm. what your assets are, the government can just come in and say, Cool, we're gonna buy all your stuff, here's the money you say it's worth. And if you lie, you're effed. And if not, they gave you fair market value. You can just go buy a bunch of new shit. Yeah, just go. <laughs> you got your money. Right, exactly. You're not out anything. Yeah, exactly. So it's like it would be a way to keep people honest. No, oh, yeah, but that would piss off the billionaires, man. They oh, of course. Well, yeah, we're way that. too far gone for that we're in our way country. Too far gone. But I do, I do like this idea, man. I'm wondering, like, if there's a way that you can incorporate that into other other facets of, of lifestyle. I'm sure you could. Yeah, absolutely. Huh. It's, a, I like it. It's a self regulating policy. Um, but actually, what I thought was really funny. Speaking of the, we're way too far gone from that. Um, you know, so the SEC is the the people in charge of the stocks, sure. keeping things fair, monitoring, yeah, fraud, yeah, yeah. yada 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 yada. So they recently just put out a video. Like an educational video mm -hmm. about uh, some, they have a series of them, but one of them oh, here we go was uh, 
it was a it was like a it was like a faux game show and somebody's like da, 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 what are you going to invest in and the guys like oh i don't know meme stocks and they were like eh. and, and and his pile of money like fell in the garbage and he got hit in the face with a pie and then the other girl was like i'm going to do my diligence on what i'm going to get and they're like ding 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 and now people are saying that they put themselves in a really precarious position because they don't. They didn't name what me, the, the government has named what meme stocks are. Yeah, those companies are real companies. They are real with companies. real employees. Yeah, with, and so they're That's basically telling people not to invest in a company. Don't invest in GameStop. Don't because of its it's whatever. Well. That's not fair market. That is not fair market. I right. was just going to say that. Right. They're like, telling wow. people not to invest in certain companies. Wow. And they're their fucking regulators that are enforcing wow. the fraud. Wow, they need to call the FCC on themselves. Yeah. So somebody I saw online did a uh, did a uh, Freedom of in Freedom of Information Act request yeah. to see how much money they spent on that. Because that was taxpayer money that paid for that. <gasps> they made me pay for that? Yeah, so they're like, I, I set up a 30-day request, so I'm going to find out how much money they spent on that commercial. <sighs> And like, yeah, so now it's people are like, yeah, we should, yeah, we should go after the SEC wow, for like, FCC. because, because no stock is a meme stock. They have created this basket of yeah, meme stocks exactly. and like all companies are real. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Especially if they're on the, the NASDAQ. Right. Or then the New York, exactly. They are real fucking companies with real money, real people, real business. Wow. Yeah. I was like. I was like, man, yeah, they, and, they really kind of and like uh, the intention is right because right. honestly, this is kind of this is kind of the stuff they should be teaching in high school. Oh, there yeah. should definitely be a high school course. Yeah. I'm, yep. I'm sure there's college courses on it, obviously. Right, right. But uh, there should be high school courses on how to invest. Oh, absolutely. Well, I still think that there should be just basic things about how to life as an adult, how to do your taxes, they didn't how to, teach how to a invest. shit in high school about really how to be an adult. Really did not. No, it's like how to like, just basic life skills, how and, to start a business. Right. Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. How to become an entrepreneur, how to whatever. Um, and then the other thing that they, they put another video they put out was about people using margin to invest, which is essentially credit, which yeah, you can, yeah. Yeah. you can do that. I mean, that's legal. But they made it out to be that the the investor was the idiot, and people were like, "It's the brokers giving people who shouldn't be getting credit credit to invest." That's mm. not the it's not the investor's fault that yeah. the brokers like, "Hey, you want twenty thousand dollars to invest on this thing?" If they don't have the credit for that, you can't get a fucking house. Nah. So why are they giving you twenty thousand dollars in credit to invest Ex in stocks? Exactly, exactly. It's not the the customer's problem. It's the system's problem. But I was just they like, haven't they haven't. I mean, like, there's regulations on like credit card industry, but the credit card industry has been like the downfall Predatory forever. Yeah, it's been the downfall of like oh, the yeah. every man forever, man. People, everybody's in fucking debt right now. Yeah, the second you turn eighteen, you start getting credit card offers. Oh, and yeah. the last thing an eighteen year old kid needs is a credit is a credit card. card. Yeah. I mean, maybe. Maybe like a two hundred dollar limit card that my car breaks down. I need to, you know, something like that. But they'll they'll be like, oh, you're eighteen. Here's seven thousand dollar limit. Exactly. And you're broke as hell. You're like, but I got credit. Ding da ding da ding da ding. Yep. Like I'll go buy a pizza. And I, you know what? Growing up, I I heard that so many times. Of like everybody's like, yeah, I got credit cards and I'm ten thousand dollars in debt. And like that's absolutely nuts to me. I've never had a credit card. Yeah, I've never had credit cards in life. Yeah, I've had my I've had credit cards in life. Um, I never got out of control with them. Um, I, mean, yeah. I, I mean, I've racked up some charges, but like, I mean, even right now, I mean, I just like, I had to go to Ohio. I put my whole trip on the car and then I just pay it off. You know, I pay off my card mainly every month for the most part. And that's part. good because it helps you build credit. And right. then, you know, I could get a secured credit card. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you should just get a secured. I'm like, so you want me to give you $500 so right. that you can put it on this card? So I can go spend the five hundred dollars, right? But that's how you build the credit. Yeah. But it's already paid yeah, back. Exactly. Honestly, to be completely honest, I pay almost everything on my credit card because I get cash back, and then every month I just put most of the money I make just paying off my credit card. Like, so like I pay most of my bills on a credit card. I buy my groceries on a credit card. If I go out to eat, I put it all because I get money back. So at the end of the month, yeah, I maybe get like twenty fifty dollars back, but hey, that's twenty fifty free dollars, and then none of it gets charged interest because I pay it off before it cycles to charge me interest. But the problem is they bank on you not doing that, okay. and then you getting your interest, and then it, then it just snowballs out of control. Yeah. Well, it, it's – yeah, I don't know. To me, I mean, and it's obviously just because I've never had one, but it just seems like a lot to go through. Um, 
So, yeah, I don't know. If I can't afford something, I don't buy it. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, and that's what I've heard. Uh, a lot of people, older folks, you know, grandparents, they'll say, the only two things you should ever take out a loan for are your house, house and a car. car. And then school, I guess. But, yeah. but that's actually a fraudulent. And we won't even get into that fucking Oh, I'm not such a that one, Jonas. Uh, but, yeah, car, like, other than that, you should pay everything in cash. Car and house. Because no one has, most people don't have three hundred thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars for a car to like yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. so um i forgot to set the timer will you shake and see how long we've been going on this video <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean uh, you know we'll just but i want to make sure we get give these people what they're asking for oh yeah we're good that's all the time we have for today's episode make why are you why are you shaking your TNT. Head? <laughs> go to the crazy town.com jonas bye